Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're looking at the Yakima Ridgeback Hanging Style Bike Rack here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So the Yakima Ridgeback is a good bike rack option if you are looking for a hanging rack that still has those premium comfortable features. Also if you're looking for a hanging rack that can carry multiple bikes, either four or five bikes, this may be a good option for you. Let's say everyone's inside of your Grand Cherokee, you're all ready to go and you all want to go for a bike ride, you might want to check this out for something that can carry all of your bikes. So first, let's take a look at the way our bike is mounted. So we have one, two on our top tube and three mounting points here on our third, which is our anti-sway. So when you want to take your bike off, notice how that sway is with that anti-sway zip strip mounted. Press those levers, pull that zip strip out, and you can see the huge difference when it comes to sway with that disengage. So press those levers, zip strip those zip strips out just like that, and then store them to the side. Make sure your cradles are stowed as well to give yourself as much room as you can get as you feed your bike through these arms. And once you're out, you're ready to go on a bike ride. And with the bike out of the way, we get to take a closer look here at our cradles and our zip strips. So here we got these cradles. And these cradles have a groove on the inside that's going to help out with your bike's brake lines. You also have this cushion. So that cushion is going to help out with securing your bike's frame, making it a more comfortable experience for it as well as providing extra grip as you have that bike mounted to your bike rack. You also have these zip strips, which have that rubber cushion on top. And my favorite part about them is how quick it is to put on and take off compared to the thick rubber straps the other bike racks have. You also have that anti-sway cradle with those cushions, as well as those zip strips ratcheting points. Now, kind of like how you rotate your tires, my recommendation is that you rotate these zip strips around. Let's say you use this cradle a lot, but that cradle not as often. You can just switch them out to get the most life out of them. Okay, so let's take a look at how our cradles fit on our bike rack. This is the four bike version. Our cradles sit five and a half inches apart, center to center. You do have a weight capacity of 150 pounds total. Now, if you happen to have a bike that is 40 pounds, that's okay. That's your max single bike limit. As long as your total is not over 150 for the four bike version and the five bike version gets a little bit more. Let's take some measurements for length added to the back of our vehicle because whenever you are carrying a bike rack, there is some, maybe some length you're gonna have to account for. So measuring from our bumper, to the end of our bike rack, it sits at about 40 inches of length added for the four bike version. That's also, that end is also where you have your signature bottle openers for whenever you wanna open a cold one. Now, if you wanna cut down on that length, what you can do is there's this lever right over here. You lift up on the lever. You may have to lift up on the arms a little bit to do so just in order to engage that lever. And once you have, you can then just drop those down to a tilt right there. So let's take some measurements with it dropped down. Um, we can see from our bumper to the end of the mass, it now sits at 11 and let's say 12 inches away from our bumper. Big difference compared to when the arms were up. Remember, with the arms up or the arms down, that length is going to be something you're going to have to remember whenever you're backing into your garage or parking in a tight spot. Your Jeep Grand Cherokee is a larger vehicle compared to smaller SUVs or sedans, so it's still going to be something you're going to have to consider, especially for a garage space. Another thing you can do is that you can tilt this down. So to do so, you push in on the bike rack a little bit, you pull this lever down, and then you just drop it to the tilt. Now the Yakima Ridgeback has a really deep tilt compared to other bike racks. So you're gonna want to tilt it away if you wanna access your hatch. 
notice how much space there is between our door and our bike rack, meaning we can get into our trunk. We can grab our bags, our waters, our helmets without having to worry about taking our bike rack off. One thing is that you still do have to take your bikes off. So that's still a process you're gonna have to go through if you don't wanna take your bikes off and you still wanna access your hatch, consider any of our platform racks that tilt the way. But either way, this will still get you back onto the trails a little bit faster. With it folded up, let's talk about how it works with our vehicle. Now it sits up a little bit over here, kind of in line with our windshield wiper for our rear window. So we'll still mainly get almost 100% visibility through the window. Our tail lights are also visible. Now our backup camera sits right in the center of our hatch, as does our license plate. So you are gonna see this bike rack through your backup camera, which is natural for any hanging style rack. Something to consider if you want full view through that backup camera, check out the Kuwait Transfer Platform Rack that has a goal post design that will not cover that. Now let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So this has an inch and a quarter shank with a two inch hitch adapter. It has this safety pin on the side, but it's a tool free install. So instead of using a wrench or a socket to tighten this down, you just pop it into your hitch and you use this speed knob at the end to tighten it down. This is a locking speed knob, so you can just use one key if you wanna pair it with a cable lock that works and integrates with this bike rack. You can switch out those cores, one key to access the whole system. But with this tightened down, you can see as I shake our bike rack, especially by its shank, I'm mainly moving the vehicle at this point, showing that it's actually really secure fit between the two, even with the adapter attached, making for a smoother ride for your bikes overall. All right, so my final thoughts about this bike rack is I do like how you are able to get multiple bikes on here, especially with the five bike version. That's really impressive because then you can take all of your bikes out for the ride and leave your roof open for other accessories. Now, if you're looking for an integrated cable lock, you may have to get one attached. If you're looking for full visibility over here, you may have to consider our Kuwait transfer platform rack. But if you just want a hanging rack that gets you from point A to point B safely and securely, this may be a good option for you. So that was a look at the Yakima Ridgeback hanging style bike rack here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 